Hello, hello, good morning. This is Jeanette uh, from Makeup Artist, speaking from um, San Antonio, Texas, um, and getting ready for another makeup tutorial. Uh, today, um, I want to be talking about a topic that I know it is a hustle and sometimes can be very difficult for some people. I'm speaking specifically about how to conceal and to color correct the dark circles. I am a perfect example of it because I normally have a pretty deep dark circle and they got accentuated even more when I do my workouts at the gym and my body is under the recovery, so I show the tiredness through the eyes. Today, I want to speak about that topic and we're going to be specifically, you know, speaking about every step from, you know, the color correcting your eyes. And I'm going to be using this palette from be served. Be served. I love it because they have all the shades. This is how it look. So you have the different shades over here, depending, you know, of the problem. You might be presenting the yellows or the kind of green are to cancel redness. Okay. And on this case with me today, in order to cancel the purple bluish, I'm going to be using the coral or orange shade, but uh, it's going to be the very light shade. What uh, brings us today together? We're going to be using my friends, um, Bizvert palette. It's a color correcting palette and we're going to be work talking about how to color correct your dark circle. I'm going to get closer to the camera so you can observe. I just begin with the process of color correcting this eye. I need to explain something. Color correcting is not for everybody, okay? Because depending on the type of skin that you have, the kind of texture you have, you know, um, is the way that your eyes are going to look. In my case, I try to don't color correct my eyes for the only fact that I'm being experienced, you know, um, dryness, even though that I moisturize my eye before the process, but the color correcting have the tendency to dry my eye, okay? So I'm going to show you. I grab a tiny little bit of the product with my finger. I love using my finger for this process for the only reason that I can move because of the warmth of my finger, I can move the product according to where I need it. And I'm going to start, you know, applying the product. My dark circles are really bad today. So it's a good day to start working and demonstrating, you know, what is the difference. The most of the time, I take advantage, you know, of the darkness on my eye, I don't care really much because I'm doing certain looks that I really don't require, you know, the cancellation of the darkness because I'm covering with product, okay? I don't want to bring the product to where the expression of lines are on my eyes, okay? Because if I'm already uh, facing dryness, on my eyes, that might be your case, you are going to produce even more dryness. I'm just patting the product against my eye in order 
to get a product set, okay? So that is what it is. As you can see, my friends, one of my eyes is even more dark than the other one. The dark circle come extremely big, extremely extends on this eye. Okay, that is genetic. There is nothing you can do about it. I will let the product set for a little bit and I will be back. Okay, my friends, uh, off camera, I did conceal this eye. We're going to be using today our glass. It's a full coverage concealer. I really like this um, this concealer because it's very forgiving. Doesn't patch, you know, uh, blend seamless with your skin give you beautiful coverage but when you have deep dark circle as i do sometimes not even a full coverage concealer can control that without resulting in a very dull you know and grayish finish so i'm going to proceed and grab a tiny little bit of the concealer on my brush and I'm going to start dabbing the product. Be careful, very carefully, because I don't want to move what I put underneath, okay? So the area that you see me working is all where I have the darkness. With this uh, concealer, my friend, with a tiny little bit, you go a long way. As you can see, I'm just using that we're not tapping motion okay so there is what it is and now with my clean fingers okay I'm going to start dabbing. I like my finger better, better than the sponge since your finger is warm. It's going to give a most natural and better result. And it's going as well, you know, to remove the excess of the product from your eyes. This is going to be a very short video. So this is for the people that actually struggle a lot, you know, with the issue of the dark circles. Look at my friends from far. Is better to apply a tiny little bit, you know, at a time than applying a bunch of the product that you are not going to be able to remove it so easy. But this is this form is cream, so this palette was a little bit of expensive, you know. Bizart is a very expensive um, brand in general considering that is all the product that made in France. But I really appreciate this palette because like I'm saying, I uh, have all the range of the shade for the fair, medium uh, and dark complexion. It's a very complete palette. I really love it. And for the different uh, undertones as well. 
to teach the process of color correcting because not many people know how to use the product. But um, this is more or less what it is. You know, always use the less is the best because it's better to apply more than to apply a lot in the first time and you are going to end with a super orange eye, you know? Uh, the orange that I use is the, I want to say, the lightest medium orange. Okay? So, I'm going to proceed with what is coming. 